recording. Okay, so just out on the Honda CRF 300 Rally, uh, which is a bike that I've just added to the fleet of A2 bikes down at the Speed Shop. Uh, I've got the CRF 250 Rally, the Himalayan, the 390 KTM Adventure, the GS310, and a 500X. Essentially, for people to come down, ride back to back, figure out which suits the fancy uh, the most. The 250 Rally I, I got with 600 miles on the clock. It was uh, bought by a chap who realised it was too tall for him and not suitable to the type of road riding he wanted to do. But exactly the same story with this 300 Rally. Uh, it was a guy who'd uh, done 700 miles, uh, realised you know, it was too tall, too uncomfortable, too soft suspension, seat not right for him, and so he sold it, I bought it second hand. Uh, and he's replaced it with a Triumph Street Twin or some, you know, some road biased um, Triumph. So the whole point of the service down at Dorothy is, is that you can come ride the bikes back to back and kind of figure out which is right, which is wrong, and therefore saving yourself the hassle and depreciation of buying the wrong bike. So I picked this up, this 300 Rally, uh, simply for the fact that uh, it's, it's a bike that I think people are going to want to come down and ride. And so. That's how I weigh up which bike to uh, add to the fleet, really. Um, I think first impressions, it's a little bit tougher, it's a little bit brawny. It feels like a little bit more of a uh, grown-up, mature machine. I think the added bit of CC just makes the engine feel a little bit stronger uh, in the mid-range on the pickup, on the throttle. In terms of outright performance, I'm not sure it's going to make a huge leap forward in, in terms of performance, simply for the fact that the 250 used to like to rev and needed to rev to get much performance out of it. Uh, I've got a feeling this, or just riding it these first sort of 10, 20 miles that I've had it, it just feels a bit stronger on the throttle, so a bit more responsive, which doesn't necessarily mean it's going to hit higher speed or accelerate quicker. It's just got a bit more meat in the throttle, and it, it's probably just going to pick up and feel a bit, bit of a brawnier bike. Actually, the same with the width of the front panels. Um, I was looking at the CRF 250 next to the 300 and the side panels were exactly the same until you look at it from the front and then you realise the bike 300 is about an inch wider uh, than the 250. I think that's to accommodate maybe a bigger radiator, I certainly know they've, they've moved the radiator from one side of the bike to the other. So uh, visually from the side it looks very similar but from the front it's got a brawnier, tougher stance. Uh, backed up by the, the new fuel tank which is bigger and sits a bit higher and a bit broader. So all in all you've got a bigger bike feel with a slightly bigger bike engine feel to give, you know, I'd say a 10-15% increase in, in stature of the bike both in terms of performance and um, I guess presence. It's got a bigger presence than the 250. People talk about six gear as being sort of an overdrive gear. I don't quite get that. You know, I'm in six gear now. I was probably in six gear most of the way through that 30 zone. To me, it picks up still quite nicely. The main thing is, how does it ride off road? And for that, we're going to find out. I've just got a car ride up my chuff, so I'm going to let him go past. And then I'm going to show you what it's like off road. So this is a brand new bike, actually. Let's get off and show it you. It's got the original tyres on, no changes to suspension or anything. So it's completely stock, 300. Yeah, look how clean it is. No scratches, no dints on it, no nothing. Pristine. Well, there's only one way to ruin that, isn't there? I'm finding a nice trail. I quite like the reduced uh, ride height of the 250 Rally I've got. It's got lowering links, made it more manageable on tougher trails. Let's see what a standard ride height bike is like. Second gear, we're going to go across and then we're going up. Up this. Second gear, it's chugging really nice, I've got to be honest. No chance of it stalling, just picking my way up through this rocky ascent. Trying to keep my eyes up, watch the big stuff, watch for the big stuff. I tell you what, it's very tractable. Very tractable, I like this gear. I think on the, on the 250 I'd probably be down to first to be honest and this is taking second really, really nicely. Just trying to keep my arms light although I'm getting a bit of arm pump, a bit of fatigue. Watch it, covering the clutch, it, there we go. Just coming to a stop, take a breath. Yeah, see so that was pulling in, in second gear really, kind of easy. And that's something the 250 wouldn't have done. So that's interesting. I think that's made it more tractable for this kind of riding. I 
Yeah, you don't need first. First is actually spinning the back up a bit. You need second. And up we go. Okay, so what did I learn from that? Engine gearing is better suited to technical stuff than it used to be, which is not kind of what I expected. That's very interesting. All in all, that made it feel easier than the 250. We've still got that soft suspension. I don't think there's many changes to the suspension, really. But I've got to say, this feels a lot nicer than my rally, my 250 rally, even. Whether it's whether the lowering link on that 250 rally just blunted its off-road performance, but just the responsiveness on the throttle just feels a better bite. It does, got to be honest. It does feel a better, 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 better bite. I was kind of sceptical uh, about the 300 rally. I kind of always, oh, I'm going to watch that rut there. I'm very cautious. I've got a brand new bike for punters to ride. And the last thing I want to do is chuck it down a trail. Just to say that this type of riding isn't what I generally do with the A2 Adventure Days. They're very much road biased. Twisty, interesting backcountry road riding, but mainly tarmac. For the simple reason is that A, I buy my own bikes and I can't afford people to throw them down the track. And B, I think most riders buy in Himalayan 390s, GS310s, and even CRS, mainly going to ride them on the road. Uh, and to be, I just can't afford to offer a service where people can throw them down the road or down the trail. So this isn't a lane I'd bring a group. So if you're watching this thinking, oh crap, I don't really want to book with him because he's is going to kill me on a back road, on a trail, then that is not the case. Yeah, it's just really nice, I've got to be honest. Uh, I've got a friend, Ben, on, the, on Facebook who's been saying he's got an XR400 Honda uh, and he's been tempted by the 300 and he asked me what I thought because he, he was underwhelmed by the 250 and I, I guess on the initial riding uh, of the 300 I kind of thought, well, you know what, I don't think it's going to make much difference really. If you're underwhelmed by the 250, you're going to be underwhelmed by the 300. But, I've got to say, that is 20% more impressive as a bike. I think it's, a, that's good. I enjoyed that. That's a, a really capable bike. And I think it's interesting that there's this, uh, perception of the, of the CRF when it came out and the L has been really soft and you know you couldn't go off road because it was too heavy, underpowered, too soft suspension but I think a lot of it was just absolute bollocks spread by Enduro guys who thought Honda had built him an Enduro bike when clearly that wasn't the case but they approached it and criticised it as though that's what they were intending to do and failed whereas for me the, the, the CRF, the 250, the L and the Rally we're just one of those bikes that you'd buy and, and used to explore and get around and do some trails and do some roads. It was just a good all round general purpose bike. And I think they've made it better with the 300. I really do. Is it worth 6,100 quid? I think it is. Is it worth a, a waiting list till, till March next year? Yeah, I think it probably is. Is there anything else that you buy instead of this, if this kind of riding is what you wanted to do. I don't think there is, no. I, I don't think any other manufacturers building anything quite like the Rally. Obviously, I like the Himalayan. Uh, but as a trail bike, it's it's got its limitations. Just going to be careful on these lanes. I was out yesterday on a Vosge DS uh, 500, just trying that. Just on an easy lane, not far from here. And, Kind of just got a bit overconfident and forgot forgot to uh, forgot that green lanes are open to all traffic, and I had a tractor coming around the corner as I approached the corner. So he had to swerve into on, into the side, and I had to go up into the edge and lay the bike down, and then drag the bike. I was on a C. I was actually on a CB500X at that time. I had to dra drag the bike out from under its wheel. So uh, thankfully, not crush the bike or the wheel, but. 
Yeah, just a reminder that not to get carried away, really. So there you go, that's just a quick video of the CRF 300, new to the fleet at Dorothy's. If you want to come and ride it, see what it's like on the road. If you've got tall, long legs, which you'll need, because it does sit quite tall. Um, one thing I probably would say is... Um, there seems to be this uh, acceptance with bikes like the CRF 300. I'm trying to think what other bikes have got it as well. Um, where well the first thing you have to do once you bought one is put different suspension on it. Um, and I really don't think in this bike's case that's that's that is the case. I, I think the suspension is standard. It is a little bit soft, but that helps compensate for the tall seat height. Um, and unless you're really starting to push on, or you're unless you're carrying a lot of load and you need to st stiffen up the rear a bit, well, I think as it is, it's perfectly fine. I, I think you could get carried away and throw money at it and, and not really gain anything. And actually make the bike less rideable because you made it so, so tall and unmanageable. Like up that trail then, you know, I wanted to stop. Okay, I could easily get a foot down or both feet. Uh, and if you've, if you've heightened it up, jacked it up, to me, on those type of trails, it just reduces the manageability and the, in turn reduces the confidence of the bike. Um, so, yeah. Quite impressed with that, I've got to be honest. I'll, I'll be out again tomorrow on the CRF 250 Rally. Actually, I'll, I'll do it back to back. I'll come out on the CRF 250 Rally, which I've just had some Midas, no, Pirelli MT21s fitted to and see how that goes um, up that climb and whether the gearing has, uh, has changed. But from recollection, the 300 came up there easier and on, uh, better on the throttle, more composed at low speed than the 250 Rally. So therefore, the extra CC has, has, in has increased the rideability of the bike. And that ultimately is what we're aiming for and probably what Honda intended. So. I'll leave it at that. Cheers.